Welcome back to On the Record. I'm here with Pete Peterson, who is the Senior Vice President of U.S. Sales for Tech Data. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Robert. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, te um, distribution is changing a lot over the last few years. So, um, you've gone from being a pick pack ship, and now there's so many more services and things that you do. Um, tell me, Murray, what's really changed from a sales point of view? Yeah, that's a good question. So I think you've described them, I think, our role over the uh, the past 15 years or so, at least that I think the company has changed pretty significantly, where it's been, you know, from more traditional, you know, logistics, you know, support to more of a trusted advisor or customer. So, you know, we help them in their ability to you know, navigate through the challenges around creating the practices, uh, certainly some of the things that we've done recently around building the virtualization of the ASR practice, or perhaps even building your know, ability practice of just some of the things that we've done. And so when your role changes like that, you become a little bit more um, involved and engaged with that with your customer's business and helping them go to market. And leveraging our marketing prowess and some of the things that we offer in that arena. And certainly, you know, we have historically been a, uh, a partner on the financing and credit piece. And I certainly feel like Tech Data's got some of the best financing programs in the industry. So our role is to help them. You know, to uh, grow their business and grow success, success, success. Yeah. So the sales force itself, though, if you look at the whole dynamics of the sales force, mm -hmm. it's become so much different than the 15 years ago when you were there. With mm -hmm. I remember going in there and you'd have the little groups of four people in mm -hmm. there, and they would all hand things off to each other. And mm -hmm. um, but now there's well, you you have field sales reps and so on. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of all that? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really around better engagement with the partners. I mean, we still, today, still have a team concept where we have uh, sales teams of, of three to four um, uh, members, and, and that's really to provide a service level to make sure ultimately that the customer experience is a positive one. But to your point, um, a lot of the activity today is more outbound than it has been historically. So, you know, 15 years ago, you know, I recall um, hub days where, you know, we were basically trying to keep the, you know, you know, answer the phones. You should have enough resources to answer the amount of call activity. With the advent of the internet, certainly with the advent of email and faxing and some of the other mediums to you know, process the orders, a lot of the selling motion now is a lot of outbound. You know, working with the partners around deals and opportunities, getting them involved with our, our SE and our tech support group in terms of helping them drive business and drive opportunities. So it's changed a little in terms of the selling motion itself. So are a lot of the bars taking advantage of that, or do they even know that this is available to them? I think they do. I mean, I certainly think there's better opportunities to engage. I mean, I think, you know, we said earlier today in the main tent session that, you know, when we come to conferences like this and we, uh, we do presentations and kind of give a, a value picture on tech data, a lot of bars say, I didn't realize you guys did that, or I didn't know you did that. I mean, it's a little known uh, secret that we have over 60 systems engineers at tech data with over 1,900 different certifications. And so this runs the gamut of all the major manufacturers, and we're at the front end of the selling cycle, at least the SEs are. So uh, the SEs working with the partners, work with the sales organization to, to drive and deliver those solutions are a critical, critical uh, element of our success. So when you get into the big companies, they work with you, I know that, but they've got their own people. But when you're talking about the small little bar out there, and all of a sudden somebody wants them to put in, um, let's take something like a storage solution, mm -hmm. which is not a simple thing to do. That is true. Yeah. You know, um, now they can come to you, and how far would you go to help them make that sale and make that yeah, get it I mean, together? Not only when it's at the time of sale, but I would say even earlier in the cycle. So when we bring, on, say, a new vendor that has a storage offering, you know, we typically go through a recruiting process with them, identify partners that would fit the profile of, of, of delivering the solutions that they're looking for. We help them build their practice, get their certification on that specific vendor's line, and then ultimately, you know, help them on the business development side of creating some demand, if you will, you know, with partnering with the vendor, as well as the you know, resources that take data. But you're right. I mean, in terms of the actual, once the sales cycle starts, in terms of a specific deal or opportunity, it's usually their SEs. They're involved early in the cycle. You know, they're, they're influencing what, um, what solution ultimately we're going to deliver. And then also the delivery of that solution to the end user, they're heavily involved in that process as well. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing eh, how far like, how far distribution has come. Mm -hmm. um, 
And for you, it must be so exciting. Like, I mean, you came in there, it was, it, it, it's kind of like 300 years ago. <laughs> I it's changed so much. Well, most days I feel that way anyway, Robert, but, uh, but <laughs> Yeah, day to day might be 300 for years. Sure, for sure, but no, it, it literally has changed. I mean, our business model has changed. You know, but at the end of the day, our core functions of supporting our customers, making sure that they're successful in delivering solutions to the end users hasn't changed. How we do it, how we partner, certainly the element of our partnerships have changed and gotten a lot deeper over the years. But you know, at the end of the day, the foundational element of our business is still there about supporting our partners and how they deliver solutions into the marketplace. Yeah, and I think that the, the solutions part is where I was going to come in and say yeah. it used to be they were, they were order takers. Right. You know, like, Yes, they would help them out. You know, it's, they started helping them out a little bit. Sure. It was more based upon who they had a relationship with than anything else. Now, anybody who's a tech is registered with Tech Data can get that type of service yeah, and support. I, and no, I totally agree. I mean, and, and you know, recently I, I uh, led our AIS division at Tech Data, which is our advanced infrastructure solutions mm -hmm. business unit, and it's built exactly around the elements that you talked about. You know, so around getting involved early, helping the partner in terms of determining what the solution is going to be, and then also the delivery of that solution ultimately to the end user. So leveraging all of the vendors' programs, leveraging all of the service offerings that we have, leveraging some of our creative financing um, um, offers that we have to ultimately deliver that solution to the end user. So that is definitely a change in our mix of business. You know, I would say over the last few years or so have changed as well as a result of that because we're we're driving more business if you will in that solution space. So if you take a person like me, mm -hmm. and let's say I decide I want to become a channel partner. Yep. Um, I'm not a techie at all. Mm -hmm. But theoretically now between managed services, mm -hmm. cloud offerings, mm -hmm. distributors who are like you who are doing, you know, giving all this stuff, mm -hmm. I don't have to be a real good techie. It's more being a real good business person, a good sales person. You're absolutely right. I mean, if you look at the profile of a lot of our, of our, of our partners, of our customers, um, a lot of them fit the profile of what you just described. I mean, they're really good business people, you know, and so they've either leveraging the, the technical uh, uh, capabilities of the distributor, like Tech Data, or they're leveraging the technical capabilities of the manufacturer. Now, you're right with the, the whole advent of the cloud and, and cloud service offering is really around that good, strong business acumen and strong relationship skills. I think those are really, really critical to success as we, as we move forward into the next, next, uh, next uh, ele ele evolution of our business. And the funny thing about it, because, and I say the funny thing or the strange thing is, so many of the bars aren't taking advantage of this, and that's where all the margins are. Like, I mean, forget about the fact that you're helping them and everything else. You've got, so you've got help, you've got, the, the customers are going to be happier. Sure. It's harder to steal the customers away. Mm -hmm. And there's more margin in it. Yes. And yet, 75% of them don't take advantage. Yeah. You know, I think it's, it's just like anything else. I mean, there's been some changes in the business. If you go back, say, 10, 12 years ago, you started to see some changes where a lot of the partners were focusing on more services. You know, mm -hmm. and so there are a lot of them that, that, that were able to make that adjustment and not only survive but thrive and the business model thrive and they, and they did really good. We're starting to see the same thing with cloud services and managed services offering as well. There were some early adapters that, that quite frankly, uh, you know, made the, the change you know, a few years back and they're doing extremely well. But it's not too late. I mean, that's the opportunity. It really isn't too late. You know, there's a lot of things that are seed changes that are that taking place in the marketplace right now. That could, could obviously play a significant role in what, what the IT distribution landscape looks like in the future. Yeah, and I think a big part of that's going to be apps. Totally. Like, totally. I, I mean, the, the offering that you're, mm -hmm. <coughs> that you're coming out of, mm -hmm. I think it's timely, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, but if apps is where it's all going to be. Like, I mean, a, anybody will be able to go and have uh, their, their technology in the cloud. That's going to become easy. Yeah, okay. that's, no, we're, we're excited, I mean, with our Stream 1 offering and, and around our solution store that we're going to be launching here pretty soon, we're really excited about what that means for the partner, and then also the speed to market. You know, so instead of trying to build the skills around that specific 
technology or solutions offering, the ability to offer that solution is already built by many of the ISVs. They've already done all of the hard, intensive, you know, labor, if you will, but then just taking advantage of those 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 tools and services that are already out there. I think it's going to be uh, very impactful for our business. Terrific. Um, I think it, I, I think the world is. Uh, the channel is, is changing, it's mm -hmm. been changing dramatically. I would say the last five years, mm -hmm. it's come so far I, uh, from where it was. And um, I think that data from what I'm seeing today so far um, is bang right on. And make, um, the strategy sounds really good and um, I wish you all the luck in the world. Well, thanks, Robert. We appreciate that. It's been a great ride. So it's nice to meet you. Likewise, and hope to see you again on the show. Absolutely. Take care.